All right, guys, it's time. We are planning out the week of June 3rd through June 9th. I'm using my binder. I know that you guys have been waiting. I've told you guys I'm so excited about this, and I just cannot wait to move in. So, today's the day. This is Angela from The Chaotic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the current week that we are in. Today is Saturday. This video will likely be going up on Monday. So I had a fairly productive week. I am not quite finished filling everything out. I'm going to go back and do a couple of the things that I didn't get to yet. Um, however, Overall, I am pretty pleased with my productivity level this week. We did pretty good um, at eating dinners. We did eat McDonald's one night, and it was $5 pizza night. Actually, it was $5 pizza night on this night. I just mixed these up. So overall, not too bad about eating out. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Let me show you something that I'm super stoked about, you guys. So... Let's see here. Exercise. One, two, three, four, five. And I still have one more day to go. My water consumption, terrible. But my exercise, the best I have done in a long time. Last week, I walked, I think, 8.47 miles. And this week, I'm already at 12 and a half, and I still have tomorrow, which today was terribly rainy. We walked in an indoor track today. Um, but if it's nice out tomorrow, then I will be able to walk my doodles because they really like that. Um, I did print a picture on my HP Sprocket. I've started doing that a few weeks ago, and I really like that. This is a picture of Benjamin signing his contract for the hockey team that he has decided to play for. So we are super excited about that. Without further ado, let's get to it. So I am using Planner Kate Kit 133. I have sheet D, two sheets of add-on S, I have add on R for my sidebar. I have add on N for my dates. And I have add on V. So I think I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to go ahead and take these pages out to plan on. And we'll just see how that goes. I may end up deciding that I'd prefer to keep it in the planner, but since I haven't planned with a bind binder before, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Still getting used to my camera. And I'm gonna have to do things a little bit out of order since I don't really know how this is gonna go. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my dates on there because it's easier to do before you lay the date strips out. So let's get that done. I can't believe that it's already like, it's June. Like, the year is almost half over. Like, I, I'm just shook about that. And then I, I was thinking today when I was walking, I was like, oh, the year is half over. I really need to check in on some of my goals and see how I've been doing. But one of the goals that I had for the year was to become more active and to consistently exercise. And you guys, like, I am almost at the six-month mark I have been, there. I'm not going to lie, there were some weeks in the winter where I only walked two times, but for the most part, I've been walking at least two times a week for almost six months now, which is just completely unheard of for me, for me to stick to my workout routine for that long. I am so excited about that. Like, so so much so that I'm like, oh, well, 
three times a week has been my routine for I think the past four or five weeks, I can bump that up. There's no reason I can't walk more than three times a week. You guys, I don't know who this person is. Like I am totally like baffled, like what happened to me? <laughs> so I've lost a few pounds, nothing significant, but I'm finally at the point now where I can walk three miles and not feel like I need to go home and die, if that makes any sense. Okay, so this is where I knew it was going to get a little tricky, and I don't have any thin washi in this kit, so I pulled out one of my Simply Gilded washies. if I can get it open. I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like to use these because they're so pretty. I'm like, oh, I just want to look at them all in my washi storage container, but... Nobody, nobody has time for that, you guys. I need to not do that. Like, no, if I'm going to buy it, I need to use it. So if I can find the end, there it is. Let's see what this looks like. I almost feel like I'm going to need to cover up that stinking gold, and I am. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with whiteout, but let's see how smoothly I can be without getting it on the date cover. I should have... The Hot Mess Express is, like, happening tonight, you guys. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Well... Okay, let's see what happens if I pull it from this side. Okay. So, this should be better now. Maybe. I'm still not very straight, but it's okay. It's going to be fine, guys. It's going to be fine. So I'll talk to you about the whole hockey, junior hockey debacle. Actually, it wasn't a debacle. It went really well. It actually went better than we were anticipating. So my husband took Benjamin to the CCM Hockey Showcase in Denver, Colorado last weekend. We were expecting, well... I guess I shouldn't even really say expecting. We had never been to anything like that. We didn't have any experience with anything like that. You know, this kid's from a small town in Fairbanks, Alaska. You know, we just don't have a lot of, well, I don't know what the right term is. I want to say opportunity. We That's not really true. We do have opportunities for a lot of things, just not um, necessarily the same opportunity that kids who play hockey in the lower 48 has. Like, we don't have, you know, much in the way of hockey camps and all that stuff. So, that being said, we did not know what to expect. We were hoping that he would come away from the showcase with at least one offer. But we had told him when he went, you know, there's it's not a guaranteed thing. You may come home with no offers. That actually went pretty smoothly. And have to stay home and play hockey here again next year. So, you know, we had kind of prepared him for a worst case scenario type thing. While they were at the showcase, he got three offers. And by the end of the week, he had like seven or eight, which... Well, I, would, I guess probably by Wednesday or Thursday he had seven or eight. And I'm not going to lie, we were not expecting that. It doesn't look very straight, but I guess it is. So we were super overwhelmed. Like, we did not know what to do. <laughs> he didn't know what to do. So what we ended up doing, and you may have seen it if you follow me on Instagram, because I did put it on my Insta stories. Okay, I'm going to make this a little longer because I'm going to trim it on both ends so I can get a nice straight edge. So we took a sheet of cardstock for each offer that he had received and we just made a list of pros and cons. 
And then after we were done, we kind of tallied up, you know, if there were four pros and two cons, then we essentially gave that team two points because two of the pros were negated by the cons, which that didn't tear very smoothly. And then once he, once we did that, he kind of made his choice. And then we, you know, we talked to all of the coaches multiple times. My husband talked to the coaches of each team. Benjamin talked to the coaches of each team. Um, we looked up their win-loss record online, went over the contracts with Fine Tooth Comb. Um, once that was all said and done, I think it was probably, I'm going to actually trim this with scissors because I didn't leave it enough room. Not with those. Once, I think it was Thursday night, Benjamin had said, okay, I've made my decision. We didn't tell anybody. We said, sleep on it. See if you feel the same way tomorrow, which he did. So he got up Friday morning. Well, it was probably, by the time we were done with all this, it was probably Friday afternoon. First, he called the coach for the team that he's going to play for. And then he cover this up, um, began the process of emailing and texting the coaches that he was not playing for. So he, he felt bad. He's like, Mom, I feel bad telling these coaches that I'm not going to play for them when they've given me an offer, which I thought was sweet of him. But I assured him they, he did not have to feel bad. That's It's just part of their job they're used to that so he's going to play for the midwest junior blackbirds out of dyer indiana which is just south of chicago he had several offers in boston i'm not gonna lie i really wanted him to go to boston because it's only about three and a half to four hours from where my family is and where my daughter goes to college. So it would have been super nice if he could have went there so they could watch him play, but it just wasn't, I don't know. He couldn't, he probably couldn't have made a bad choice, but um, the team that he chose to go to is really what, what we all thought would be the best team for a variety of reasons. One of which is he's only 17 and we didn't really want to send him to a team that stays in an apartment. We were much more comfortable with him staying with a host family. They call it a billet family. So that is how that worked out. So I'm proud of him. You know, he worked hard. He put a lot of time and thought into making this decision. I, I'm really, I'm just really excited for him. And I'm going to get to go watch my kid play, you know, just outside of Chicago, which is exciting for me. So that's done, I'm, which I'm glad about that because it was like all consuming. <laughs> so now what I'm doing is putting down my sidebar. So in July, my sidebars are going to change. I, it, right now I've been using the weekly habit trackers and I like them. They work fine, but I want to get more of a big picture, like view. Like I, I can easily figure out how many days a month I'm working out now by just flipping through each weekly page in my planner and counting. But I kind of want to be able to just get like a more, um, like a quicker view. I don't know exactly how this is going to work out with this thing down here. So I'm going to try the monthly habit trackers for a little while and just see how that goes. So if I put this here, I'm going to end up with a little bit right there, but I think that's going to be fine and I can cover that up with whiteout if I need to. So that's not terrible. 
I might trim that a little bit. Let me zoom you guys back out just a hair. Okay, so now what I need to decide to do. The nice thing about starting on this, using this kit starting on this week, is that this yellow does not look terrible. Actually, I almost wonder if I should have used that one because I like that better, but I didn't, so oh well. So I'm going to put my... I think. Let's see what this looks like. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put those down there. But what I am going to do is cover this up with my thick washi. I'm sure you guys know that Planner Kate did come up with see if this works better with um, the a cover for the shaded area in the hourly so once I get to July I will probably start using that but for now I think this is gonna work just fine oops my whiteout is stuck to me So many changes, just trying to figure everything out. Did you guys see in my Insta stories that my magic bands got here today? I'm so excited about that. I haven't planned out anything. I tried to get my fast passes online, but the other, well, probably like two weeks ago when I tried, maybe a week and a half, it was fine. I could do it. I just wasn't quite ready for that. So that's why I didn't do it. But now I can't, it keeps giving me an error. It will let me pick a fast pass for myself, but not for any other members of my party. So I need to call Disney about that. And I might actually try and do that tomorrow. Cause I really need to do that. We, there are a few rides that we want to get fast passes for, for sure. The Avatar Flights of Passage will definitely more than likely sell out of fast passes. <laughs> if I don't get on that. So I'm putting my little fork and knife stickers down from Planner Kate. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see my meal planner for the week, which I really like how it came out. It was fun and I like to look at it, which is half the battle. But I still like to track what we're going to have for dinner each night in my planner um, just because it, it's just easier for me to look at each day and be like, okay, we have this, this, and this going on this day, so I need something quick from the meal planner for this night or whatever. So I like to track that here. I'm going to take one of these little stickers, uh, monthly stickers. This is S697. And I'm going to use the June. And I will put that right here. I don't think I need to use the 2019 because that's pretty self-explanatory. I think I will remember that. Okay, next ombre boxes. Uh, let's start with the green. Let's see how these are going to work. Perfect. I really have enjoyed that ombre boxes. I know I tell you guys this every week. But I like having a sticker that I can write my to-do list on. I love writing on the Erin Condren paper. It's wonderful to write on. But I just prefer to write on a sticker if I can. Alright. Let's do... So this is more of like a peachy color. And this is like a pinky color. I think that'll be fine. 
fine. The colors in this kit are so fun. I still need to get my June kits. This is actually, I probably actually need to order them like tomorrow, even maybe tonight, because I don't know if I'm going to put them on the weekend or not. I think I'll put one on Saturday, but I'm not going to put one on Sunday. That's probably what I'll do. Okay. I'm thinking about this for a second here. I'm just going to leave it like that for a second and just see. I was going to put my full box that I have right here over here, but then I realized that's going to cover up the, I, I'm just going to go with it. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't do my weekend banner either. I told you guys the struggle boss express is here. Okay. Let's flip this around. I don't like the fact that I don't have any thin washi because I like to put my Instagram stickers here. Let's see if we can put another layer of this down. And that gives me that skinny box right there. To write my Instagram stuff in which might work okay. I imagine it will probably take me a little bit to get used to this new hourly layout since it doesn't have the half hour boxes. I don't mind that it doesn't have the half hour boxes. It's just different. And you know, I've been planning the other way for a while now. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's do the same thing to this. So most of you guys have probably started summer break by now. There's probably some schools in the Northeast that are still in session. I know I went to school in upstate New York and we didn't finish until like almost the end of June, which was absolutely crazy. Although we did have an extra, like we had a, like a spring break, but we also had a winter break. So that was nice. And the kids here don't have that, which is why they've already been out of school for a couple weeks, probably maybe, yeah, probably two weeks. So I'm going to put my weekend banner right here. It's a good thing that we don't have a ton of stuff going on this week because I'm feeling like I kind of squashed myself and didn't leave myself a ton of room to plan. There might not even be room for a memory planning picture in this weekly spread, but we'll see. Okay, so I think that's it. We can get into what we have going on now which to be honest isn't going to be a ton so uh, there's no FFA this week but there is teen club on Monday evening I'm going to tell you guys a little story I have already said that it is it was Saturday when I was filming this video and it was. I started this on Saturday, and then the battery on my camera died. I was tired, and I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm going to finish this in the morning. Well, a series of unfortunate events happened on Sunday. It is now Monday morning, and I am finally back to finish filming this plane with me. So I was telling my husband yesterday when I was talking to him that my battery died, so I needed to invest in another camera battery. And he said, well, okay, we can do that. He said, but why didn't you just plug your camera in and use it while it was plugged in? And I said, huh, 
that was a really good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. So when I tell you guys that I ride the struggle bus, I am not fibbing. So anyways, this is Monday morning. I'm going to hustle and get this video done today and up. And I have two other videos that I need to film. And realistically, I'm probably going to upload three videos today. Maybe two. We'll see. So I made some changes. I decided in my delay of filming that I wanted to move my ombre boxes down a little bit. I think they're going to be just fine. Just giving them one final press down. And the other thing I've decided that I don't like is this right here. So I'm going to pull this up, set that aside, and I think I'm going to use this sticker. I think it's going to look fine color-wise. It's just a little bit of a darker shade. So that's what I'm going to do. That sticker is from this Erin Condren book. It's the Designer Sticker Book Classic Collection Edition 4. All right, so now that that's taken care of, let's go ahead and add my Instagram stickers. I haven't chosen a color yet. I think we will go with this light blue right here. And I'm just going to put these right here in between the washi strips. This might actually, my little handy dandy Cricut tool might be a little helpful today. Yeah, I don't think that looks too terribly bad. So this is not going to be a super duper crazy week. I did use my Erin Condren weekly schedule pad, which I have linked in the description box down below to do my pre-planning. I need to figure out some way to document how many days we have left until Disney. I want to start, I don't know where that sticker just went. Hmm. Well, oh well. So anyways, I need to figure out some way to document how many days left until we go to Disney. I'd kind of like to start doing that just because I have some fun stickers that I want to use. But I don't know what that's going to look like yet. So there are my Instagram stickers. Next I'm going to, well, I guess we'll just start getting into the week. So we have Teen Club here, which, oh, there it is. There's my little Instagram sticker. I found it. I'm not actually sure if it is Teen Club, but I'm going to just leave it there because even if it's if it's not an actual Teen Club meeting, I think the kids are going to meet at our, I can't get this back on there, at our, um, like our local nursing home and plant flowers in their flower beds, which they've done that many times. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. Uh, so Katie started, my oldest daughter, she started her new job today. So that is exciting. <clears throat> she works, if you've ever come to visit Alaska, you've probably been there, um, to Chain Lake Recreation Area. She's what they call a ranger aide. So today she's planting flowers in their flower beds, which that's fun. She'll enjoy that. That's She really likes that job. She did it last summer as well because she gets to work outside. And that's what she likes to do. Okay, so Ben needs to mow today. He mows at um, the clinic that I worked at. Here in Alaska, you have to mow every five to seven days because we have so much sunlight that the grass grows super fast. Um, that's pretty much all that we have today. So tomorrow, we have, Liberty has jumping practice. I'm going to fill out three of these because she has it three times this week. 
Last week was the first week that we went to the Air Force Base for practice, which worked out really nicely. And it's actually going to be, well, I guess it'll work out fine. It worked out nicely, except the thing I didn't like about it is it is at least a 30 minute drive. And I was anticipating her practicing right here in the town that we live in. So it would take me maybe 15, 20 minutes to drop her off and come back home. So that is a little bit of a drag, but you know, what are you going to do? So that's all that she has on Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, I am supposed to go to a doctor appointment at 930. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on here, but honestly, I think I'm going to have to reschedule it because the doctor appointment is 20 minutes north of where we live, and her jumping practice is 30 minutes south of where we live. So there's just no way logistically that I can do that. So I'm either going to have to reschedule my doctor appointment or have her get a ride with someone to jumping. So those ends are not quite sticking down very nicely. So that's pretty much it for Tuesday. Thursday evening will be music in the garden. We did not get to go to that this last week because it was Benjamin's last hockey game, I guess you'd call it, for Spring League. And we wanted to go because it, it's probably, unless you play Spring League next year, the last time that we will get to see him play hockey here in Fairbanks because he's going to be playing for his new team. So we didn't go to Music in the Garden, which was a bummer, but it's okay. It was worth it to be able to watch him play hockey. So this doesn't really completely fit in that box super nice, but I think it's okay if I just make it overlap like that. I wrote 6.45 on there, even though it starts at 7, because... We tend to not be able to get there on time. Okay, so Friday, the only thing I have to remember for Friday is that I need to, I'm going to just use this little budget checklist. I have to pay the rest of our Disney trip by Friday. So I'm just going to mark that like that, and I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here just so I can have continuity. Saturday is kind of a little bit of a busy, busy day. So Ben needs to mow. If he doesn't do it Saturday, he can do it Sunday and that will be totally fine. But he really likes to do it every five days because then he gets paid more money. Um, the next thing that we have would be at 2 o'clock. And we have like this big um, showmanship clinic for 4-H. And the kids have pigs, so I think they have to be there at 2. And this is mandatory. We have to actually bring their pigs to the fairgrounds. So I have to figure out how to do that so we do not have a livestock trailer. We also have to have vaccination proof and health records, which we have that stuff. I just have to put it on the appropriate form. So that starts at two. I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm going to mark it up here, but I hope it's quick because at four o'clock is, and I think I may have mentioned this before, um, they have on Fort Wainwright, which is the army base close to where we are, they have a like a summer concert. And it is um, Chase Bryant this time. And it's free. So who wouldn't want to go to a free concert? Especially when you live in 
interior of Alaska, and we don't really get people who come here, performers. They don't want to come here. And we did get to see Fluffy. He's been here several times, um, but he was not free. He wasn't super expensive, but he wasn't free. And I think we had maybe Thompson Square a couple years ago. But for the most part, we just don't get that many performers that come here. So I really want to be able to go to that if we can. I'm hoping it will work out nicely. On Sunday, we have church. So let me grab my church stickers. I will probably use this. No, I'm not going to use that yellow. I'm going to go ahead and use this blue, which is the same blue that I used for my Instagram stickers. And I will put it here. So we have church in the morning. Actually, we do like a... Com well, our church services are a little bit different than what most Baptist churches do because... A lot of people in the wintertime don't want to come to both services because it's cold and some people live far away. So we have regular church in the morning. We have like family Bible time. Then we have the 11 o'clock hour. Then we break for a common meal. And then our second service starts at 2. And that's when they have like the teen um, service as well. And then after the 2 o'clock service, you're done for the day. So we did stay for the 2 o'clock service yesterday, and I wanted to stay for it next week as well, but we're not going to be able to because the kids have... So the swine is Saturday, and on Sunday is turkey showmanship. Fun times, you guys, fun times. This will be the last time that they're able to participate in this though because um, while well, Benjamin will graduate next next year and also we'll, we'll be moving so we will live in a subdivision when we get to Utah so Liberty will not be able to raise animals well maybe chickens but I don't want to we're done <laughs> so we'll see we won't be able to stay for the afternoon service because she has that so that is pretty much all that we have going on. Let me go ahead and add my workout stickers. You guys, I'm so stinking excited. I worked out, which really working out to me is just walking, but I do try and I've started to add a little bit of jogging in, so I'm pretty excited about that. But I had six days last week. The week before I walked, I think, let me look at my planner so I can make sure I tell you accurate information because I wouldn't want to shortchange myself, you know. <laughs> so I, on the week that ended the 26th, I walked 8.47 miles that week. This week that just ended yesterday, I walked 14.36 miles. So I'm super stoked about that. So I'm only going to use three workout stickers. Let's see which ones. I did get my new shade of them, so that's nice. I think I'm going to use this bright yellow. And I'm just going to I'm going to have to move this up, I think. Oh, that's not too terrible right there. I could put it right there. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. So I'm going to just mark the three days that I'm going to go to the gym and walk on their track because those are like the days where I really try and pay attention to my pace and where I add in some running. And then my other days are typically slower, a slower pace because I walk my dogs. I will tell you, I didn't walk my dogs as much last week because I had three gym days. Then I also had a day where I didn't walk them because it rained. So they did not get as much walking time in and they were terrible. Like my older doodle, which is like, she'll be two in 
October. She pooped on the floor. And I'm sorry if this is TMI. Two times in one day. And she hasn't done that in a really long time. And even my um, puppy doodle, she was not even very good either. She was restless at night. And I'm like, oh gosh, we, we cannot do this. So I have to, I have to walk them even, even if I'm walking at the gym, that means I just have to walk twice that day. So I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that I want to add. We don't have any paydays this week. I should probably... Okay, I guess I didn't finish telling you guys this. So I mark my workouts at the gym with those workout stickers, and then I was just using these walk stickers from Planner Kate. This is sheet S. 334 and then I just stick one of them on like one of these half boxes and put all my details on there and then stick it on my planner and that worked pretty well like I'll probably do that today it's a beautiful day outside I'm not going to the gym I don't really have anywhere to go so I will likely walk my dogs I'm not sure when I'll have to see if any of the girls want to go with me or if they don't really care about that because if they don't really sometimes they do but if they don't happen to care today then I will just walk the dogs by myself which is not really a huge deal I think there was one day last week where I had walked at the gym and then I walked that night as well so that I could walk the dogs. So I just put like drew a line and put half on here and half, you know, one workout on the left side and one workout on the right side. So that's how I did that. Uh, I will likely walk the dogs on Friday too. Maybe not Saturday because it'll be kind of crazy, but I'll add that in later. Enough. Okay. So let's try that on the bottom. And then I'm going to put this little sticker right here from the Coffee Monsters Co. I think that looks fine. Yeah, and then I'm gonna just write how many days we're going on the 20th, so I'll just write how many days there is from today, and I think that'll work out fine. Let's stick that right here. I've got to get busy. I need, I want to pre-film some videos so that you guys can still get some content while I'm at Disney World, so we'll have to see how that how that works out. I can't promise anything at this point. Um, I'm hoping it will work out nicely, but one never can tell. So usually what I do, what I like to do anyways, is use one of these little checkbox strips, but they don't fit anymore in the new planners. And then I would mark one of these little YouTube stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. But I don't think I'm going to do that this time just because I'll be able to do that in July because Kate has the add-ons that you can get that will fit the new planners. But for now, I think that's just going to be all that I can do. Okay, so now I'm going to put this layout in my binder. Let's see how this looks. I'm so excited to be using this binder. Yes, that looks great. I love it. I like the fact that you can take the pages out to to put your layouts down and then stick them back in the binder. So now what I think I'm actually going to do, I've been a little hesitant about this and I was like, oh, should I do this? Should I not do this? I think I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to take this out, so I may have to redo this one. But I want to cut these out. So let's see, how will this work? Yeah. 
so I want to cut these out of my current life planner. I don't have really any little tiny scissors down here that will work. So, well, let's see. I could probably use these even though these are a curved tip. These are what I use for embroidery. So I'm just going to... I'm so nervous, you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to clip them at the coil. Just like this. Okay, that's done. If I could do that again, I wouldn't cut through so many pages at one time. Because I kind of messed them up a little bit, but I think it's still going to be okay. I hope. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, let's see. So you can reinforce them with tape if you need to, and I may do that. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to have to redo my June notes page. Then I have my June calendar. This was the last week in May first couple days in June from this week, this last week. And then these right here, I will tape together. I don't have any double-sided tape right this very second, so when I go to the store, I will get some. So those will be double-sided taped together. And then I'm in the week now, and then I'm good for next week. And then once July starts, I'm good. So I have officially moved in to the new binder. Yay, I'm so excited. I still have quite a bit of stuff to do. Um, I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to use everything for. I think, I, I honestly, I never look at this page. Never. I don't, we don't really have a ton of birthdays. We do birthdays for our own immediate family and then like our parents, but that's really it. We don't do much for everything else. You know, I don't have a ton of nieces and nephews. Um, we just don't do a lot of that stuff. So it's not really beneficial for me to use it to mark those kinds of things. My kids don't go to public school, so it's not really even beneficial for me to mark the school calendar. I'm going to use this page to mark home and away games for the junior hockey team that Benjamin is playing for. Games will start in September and they'll go likely through the end of March, possibly into April. And we do plan to travel to at least a couple of his games. I'll probably go to a couple by myself and then we'll probably try and work one where Mike and I can go together, maybe even take Liberty. So we don't know exactly what that's going to look like yet, but that's probably what I'm going to use this page for. And even if I'm not able to fly to Chicago to watch his games, um, they live stream them so I can watch them online. And then I also have not decided what I'm going to do with this. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. And then we're right into the June notes pages. So I'm super excited to be in my binder. I think I'm going to have to 
reinforce that a little bit. If you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, in the description box, I have links to the Air Encounter and products that I use. I also have a link to a $10 coupon off your first order. So if you guys want to order your own binder, I'd love it if you could use my referral link. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like this kind of content, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!